I'm in my 30s. You guys, any 30 year olds? Okay. You know what that fucking means, right? You know what that means. That means we're at the age where our friends get pregnant and actually keep them. <laughs> yeah, uh, when did that start happening? <laughs> Yeah, not used to it yet, dude. It's crazy watching your friends become mothers. It's always the sloppiest bitches first. It, just, it is! I love my friends, but like, it's never the ones that have their shit together. Like, I was, like I was at one of my friend's baby showers recently, and I'm looking at her, and I'm just like, damn. It, wow, it feels like just a few months ago, you were jerking off some guy in a bathroom at a bar for free coke. <laughs> and look at you now, girl. <laughs> About to bring a little summer rose into the world. <laughs> You're glowing, mama. Rose, girls love naming their daughter's middle name Rose. This, it's a nice name. How many women here have the middle name Rose, by the way? Yeah, okay, we see what this That was a dude. Your middle name was Rose? Oh. <laughs> That's okay, because my middle name is Alan, so. <laughs> Don't know why my mom did that. She fucking chose violence the day I was born. She looked at me and she said, Alan. <laughs> We're going with Alan. And the reason she made my middle name Alan is after my uncle Alan. And usually when like parents name their kids after somebody in the family, it's because they're like a war hero or maybe they died. But no, my uncle Alan is just like a small claims lawyer in Pasadena. <laughs> he cheated on my aunt and got syphilis and like, that's my legacy. <laughs> Give it up for Uncle Al. I, uh, I, being an adult, I don't know. Here's what I'm learning as you get older. Like, you have to be careful who you take advice from, you know? You really gotta be careful because people will give you some really bad advice. Like, especially when you're going through a breakup. Breakup advice is so chaotic. Like, you always have that one person who's always like giving the most unhinged advice. Like, all right, we're gonna go out tonight. You're gonna get fucked up and you're gonna fuck the hottest guy. You're gonna fuck 10 guys tonight. We're gonna get you so much dick. You're gonna be choking on dick at the end of the night, girl. And I'm like, yo, yo mom, relax. <laughs> Why would I listen to you? <laughs> you married dad, dude. I am not listening to you. <laughs> I am in therapy and I... <laughs> All right, we got some emotionally woke people in here. Here's the thing. Here's the thing I've learned about therapy. Therapy's great, it's all about healing, you know? It's like you're always trying to heal and just like get to the best version of yourself. There's a lot of healing, 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 you're always healing. And I realized for me that I, I will never be a fully healed person until I physically fight my mom. And that's that! Yeah! Everybody wants to talk about daddy issues, but mommies! <laughs> Women are vicious, dude. <laughs> Women will fuck you up. I got one of those moms, she's always like, I brought you into this world, I could take you out. <laughs> I'm like, let's go, you old bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're almost 70, watch out. <laughs> watch out. She be bragging, my mom brags about the craziest things. She'll be like, I got three abortions before you. <laughs> I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay. The thing is, is like, I have a lot of demons. Like I got demons and I, you know, I often wonder if the reason that I have so many demons is because I spent nine months just marinating in that haunted ghost town. <laughs> just sitting in there <laughs> with my fallen brethren. <laughs> 
I like to think that maybe I was all of the abortions and I kept coming back. I'm like, you're gonna get it, bitch. I'm coming for you. I know, I was so sad. Nah. Being an adult, I don't know if I like it. Is anybody actually having fun as an adult for real? Like, for real. Like, like one guy raised his hand. <laughs> dude, being a liar, now, being an adult is fucking hard, dude. Nobody teaches you how to do this shit, you know? Like, one day you're little, and the next day you're big, and like somewhere in between we have to figure out how to like pay taxes and like not get hemorrhoids and... <laughs> Nobody teaches you how to not get hemorrhoids. <laughs> Nobody says a thing. It's one day you wake up and there's blood in your poop and you're like, why? <laughs> Who do I talk to about this? <laughs> don't, okay, don't get all silent, act like I'm the only bitch in this room with a hemorrhoid. I know. I know they're so common. I know y'all got them. <laughs> They're scary, dude, they're itchy. Oh my God, I recently found out that guys can see them when you have sex from behind and that made me want to kill myself. <laughs> I am packed full, I'll tell you that. I got 10 more minutes on hemorrhoid material. Here's the thing. I have a I have a theory that the only people that are having fun as adults are rich people, because like rich people can do all the fun things, you know? Like they get to they get to go on like vacations and like ride yachts. Like what do broke people do for fun? We fucking we have to go on hikes and we go hiking and pretend that it's fun. It's not fun. I'm so sick of Griffith Park. It's so it's just like coyotes and dirt, and I'm so what are you talking about? Nature's so beautiful. I love hiking. I love it. Shut the fuck up. You just get sweaty. You get a fucking yeast infection. Your pussy gets stinky. I can't. Here's the thing. Ladies, if a guy, if a guy ever asks you on a first date and he's like, let's go hiking, fucking don't go. Because that means he has no money. <laughs> he has nothing. He lives in the park. Like, don't. Don't do it. <laughs> it's so hard. You know the worst part about being an adult for real though? Is having to make friends. Like, <laughs> talking to new adults is like, like, talking to an adult you've never talked to before is so scary. It's like, it's why we all pregame before we go out. <laughs> you know? Like every time you were going out with your friends, you're like, I gotta get fucked up so I don't remember talking to anyone. <laughs> It's scary, we're all judgmental. That's why we have social anxiety, you know, because we judge each other. Adults were judgmental, and you could be like, that's not true, I don't judge people, shut the fuck up. As soon as I got on stage, you all looked at me, and you're like, okay, this bitch, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> What's she about to talk about? You know, like, we judge, we judge, that's what we do. And I hate it, we have to make small talk to get to know each other, and who, like, small talk is the worst, it's so bad. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what do you do for work? <laughs> oh, you work in mortgage financing? Oh my god, that's so cool! <laughs> oh, you sell insurance? <laughs> oh, <like that. laughs> it's just, it's so boring. It's so fucking boring. I. I just, I wish that we could like make oh, friends the same way that kids made friends. You know, like have you ever watched a kid make friends before? Kids are wild, dude. They don't give a shit. A kid, a kid will go up to another kid they've never met and they'll just be like, hey, what's up? I got a lizard in my pocket. <laughs> Caught it with my hands. <laughs> and the other kid will be like, are you serious? I have a rash right now. <laughs> Do you want to see a trick that I just learned? <laughs> that's so cute. And that's how kids, that's how they make friends. Like, that's so funny. Like, that's so 
fucking funny. I wish adults, I wish we made friends like that. Can you imagine? That's how that, tweakers do. That's <laughs> Tweakers love making friends like that. Hey, what up, dude? Do you want to see me do a trick? And then they stab you. <laughs> I wish, I wish when we met each other for the first time, we could just tell each other the craziest shit with no judgment. Wouldn't that be so much more fun? Yeah. Like if you could meet people and just be like, hey, like for me, I'd be like, hey, what's up, I'm Gabby. I'm kind of weird, I have social anxiety, and sometimes, uh, sometimes when I'm by myself, I don't know, I'll put marbles in my pussy. What? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take the temperature, see what, uh, <laughs> see how people are gonna react. <laughs> Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Lady, you're like, no, we don't. None of us do that. <laughs> never have done that. Okay, well, I haven't either. <laughs> I would never do that. That's disgusting. <laughs> if I did, how many do you think <laughs> I could fit? <laughs> Seventy-five. I mean, come on. <laughs> you know the little ones. Like pussies are big. They're big. You can fit a lot of stuff in a pussy. It's, it's so much stuff. It's crazy. <laughs> it's cra How, okay. Here's the. What if a bunch of marbles just fell out of my pants? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like, ew. <laughs> what is happening? How come women we can't talk about pussy size? You know what I mean? Like it's not socially acceptable. Like you get made fun of if you have a big pussy. Like that's a thing. Oh, she has a loose pussy. <laughs> like we can't talk about having big pussies, but men, men can talk about having big dicks. Men talk about their friends' dicks, dude. The, but men love bragging about their. Oh my fucking boy, he's got a hog. I seen that. <laughs> I seen that fool's hog. He's, he got a fucking hog, dude. Like, Women, we cannot talk like that. We're not allowed to. I wish, can, I wish, I wish I could fucking talk about my friend's pussies and be like, what up, it's my girl Brittany. She's got a linebacker pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, show him your lips. <laughs> she starts tying them in knots. <laughs> she starts pulling footballs out. Whoa! <laughs> be pretty cool. <laughs> Isn't it crazy that we're all a result of cum? It's crazy, like everybody is just cum. Like we all take life so seriously, but at the end of the day, you're just like cum with hair, you know? Like that's, <laughs> you're just like cum with eyeballs and hair. Like that's it, you know? We get all mad at things. You know, you go to a restaurant, your food's cold. Oh, my food's too cold. Shut up, you're calm, dude. Like, it's, it's a miracle you're even here, you know? Like, it's crazy. There were so many odds against any of us existing, you know? Like, nobody here was swallowed. That's a miracle. Nobody here ended up in a butthole like, you made it, you... And some of you guys probably should have, but you're here! And that's so crazy, that's amazing! Bunch of butthole warriors, and I... I love that for all of us. That is, you know what's kind of dark, though, is that the only reason any of us exist is because a man came. Women don't come to get pregnant. <laughs> but only a man, a man has to ejaculate, and that's how women get pregnant. Women do not have to come to get pregnant, and the thing is, is that if women did have to come <laughs> to get pregnant, <laughs> the human race, we, we would be extinct. The human race would be extinct. We would have died out in 300 BC. That would have been it. Guys, they don't like that. They're like, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. I make my girlfriend come all the time. Oh, baby. Don't fucking laugh at that. Don't fucking laugh. Don't laugh, babe. You come. I know you come. <laughs> oh my god. I. Uh, I'm 
dating. I date. I'm fucking dating. You guys dating? <laughs> All right, everybody else is related. What's up? <laughs> yeah, I date. I, I love. I date men. <laughs> um, I love men. No, I really do. I love you guys. Men, you are so cute. Men are so cute. Um, you are. You're cute. But also, fuck off, you know? Like, here's, <laughs> here's the thing. If you guys leave with anything tonight from my set, I want you guys, men, spe <sighs> men specifically, all worked up. Men specifically, please leave knowing this. Um, stop, stop making eye contact with us when you go down on us. <laughs> the women laughing, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> the guys who aren't laughing are like, why, bitch, what do we look like? <laughs> What? This is, cause this is what, no, this is like literally what you look like. <laughs> I know, I know that hell exists because I've looked a man in his eyes while he's been eating me out and I've seen demons. I've seen, I've seen demons! <laughs> You, and then you come up for air, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you could suck my dick now? <laughs> Please. <laughs> and then you push our heads down. Why? Don't push. Don't push our heads down. It's horrible. It's so, it hurts. You fucking push our heads down, and you're like, I want you to choke. <laughs> Yeah, I want you to choke, I want you to fucking gag. And I'm like, okay, if you want me to choke, you're gonna have to give me more to choke on. And that's <laughs> Would I lie? Would I lie? <laughs> and here's the thing. If I'm gagging, if I'm gagging, it's because I smell your balls. And that's why <laughs> <laughs> but I, I would never oh be mean. God. I would never be mean. I would never insult them. I would never say that because what? Because I have to suck dick. I have to suck dick because I don't have any tits. And when you don't have tits, you have to, you have to suck dick. Those are the rules. Those are the fucking rules. If I, here's the thing. Oh my God. Here's the thing. So here's the thing. If I had tits, I would never suck dick again. I would just be like, please, babe, fuck my tits. <laughs> I love it so good. <laughs> no, I'm flat chested, so I gotta show him the old razzle dazzle every time. <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> 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 Making me emotional. I just <laughs> love sucking dick <laughs> so much. Uh, man, you have. I, and I know I'm. I'm talking. I do talk a lot of shit about guys because you deserve it. And like that's okay. And it's okay. It's okay. You have two moves in bed though. And um, I've done enough field research to know. You know, you have two. You have two moves in bed, and this is one of them. <laughs> You guys always look so mad when you fuck us. Just come. It's that primal rage. Just me fucking me. But I guess in your defense, it would look worse if you looked happy. I see you, babe. <laughs> Stay mad, I guess. I, that's, <laughs> Stay fucking mad. Here, your other move, this is your other move. <laughs> if you can't see me, I'm literally just laying down. It does not even matter. Just fucking, just as easy, just like that. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're on top doing tricks. Like, yeah! It's so funny. Oh my God, I want you to come, will you come? No, please come, my legs are hurting, I'm cramping. I have a cramp, I have 
such a bad cramp. I need to do the dishes, please. It's just it's taking so long. Please come, hurry, please. Fucking come. When women tell you when they're like, I want you to come, she's busy. She's busy. She's on a schedule. I had this one ex, he'd always be like, I made you come, right? <laughs> I made you come. I can make you come. I'd be like, yeah, I guess I came to the conclusion that I would literally rather be at home seeing how many marbles I could fit inside of my pussy. You guys, you've been so much fun. You guys are fucking awesome. Keep that energy going. Your next comedian coming to the stage. It is a treat to bring him up. You know him. You fucking love him. He's amazing. Give it up for Matt Ross!